Hey everyone, it's Mike, Rocky Ridge Kennel and Loft. I uh, just released the seven rollers, seven young rollers. And what I'm going to do today is, uh, while these guys are flying, I'm going to load up all the white dove release birds and uh, take them on the road. I'll take them out about five miles today. And uh, I'd like to show some some new birds that I just got yesterday. One of them is this uh, nice little bald head roller. She's very young. This one right here, I just bought her yesterday. And that one came out of the nest uh, last week. And this one two days ago. So I'll have 10 young ones and then I got uh, either two or four more that are going to join them i haven't decided if i'm going to pull pull some eggs or uh but anyway well they're doing good today they're right up there yeah, they've been doing really well they stay up about a half an hour i'll show you my new racing pigeons that i got yesterday before i load these guys up got these little beauties those are Muleman, pure Muleman. I got three of them. Uh, just very, all these are very young, and those are Black Eagle. Those are an extreme long distance bird. I got them from a real good breeder in Somerville, South Carolina. This one's very, very young. It still has, uh, still has, uh, needs the feathers under the wing. It's so young. But um, yeah, beautiful birds. Uh, the Muleman's are medium to long distance. And so I have seven new birds. So they're gonna go in with the racing birds as soon as they get a little older. I wanna quarantine them for a little while. That's what I like about this loft. I just, I just slide in those pieces right there and I, and I have a quarantine section. But um, yeah, so. I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the birds ready to go. All right, so this is how I easily load up the uh, birds for a toss. Let me adjust this camera here a little bit. Hey guys, let's go! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go guys, come on. Let's go. It doesn't really frighten them too much. And they all just head right in the, in the crate for me. Come on guys, come on. And there's always one. Today they're doing really well. I just go like that and they're all ready to go. Put this in front of the door. And uh, everyone's ready for, ready to go on the road. So what did that take? 30 seconds? And uh, it's also really nice if, if there's something wrong, one of them was molting or something, now I can easily pick that one out and throw them back in the loft. Or whatever I need to do. Actually, that one right there, uh, that boy right there is really starting to molt. Um, but it, he'll, he'll be fine today. Five, five miles is nothing. Even if they are heavy into the molt, five miles is nothing for them. <clears throat> so I get them loaded on the truck. All right, so I get the traps all in position. And I got their food ready. When they get back, sitting right there. Hey guys. Well, they're there. Way up there. I'm 
strong flyers. All right, so very simple. You just slide it off of there and slide it into the back of the pickup truck. It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's uh, really dry wood. But we're we're going to go to the release site now. And the rollers are coming back in, which is good. I don't really like to leave them out when I'm gone. They're hesitating a little bit because I, I scared them up. I didn't, I didn't let them sit on top of the loft this morning, so they're hesitating a little. Close them up and we'll fly them again this afternoon. I only put that water there because I got some young ones in here. I like to give them a couple days with, with the open water. It uh, seems to help them progress a little bit longer and then when they're moving around freely and I go ahead and take that out and then they can find the water in the jug pretty easily. All right, let's get back to the white dove release. You guys are ready to go. Let's do it. All right, so we're at a uh, state forest. It's not a very not very open here, like I would like it to be, but it's not too bad. I'm gonna let them sit for about five minutes and uh, my wife will release them. And I'll try to film it because uh, it looks really nice when they release. Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh yeah, they're, they're circling down there a little bit. It's the wrong way, fellas. There you go. I think it's taking them a little bit, a little bit longer to locate because of all the, because of the site that I release. Usually, I, I do it in a big open area, but I think they're all set now. That probably beat me home. Well, I'm going to head home now. Yeah, so they beat me home. I came straight home at, I don't know, it wasn't even maybe like eight minutes. I didn't look at the timer, but a very short time they were here. Hey right, guys. <clears throat> 
got a couple that look like they're winded a little bit. Three of them. One at each door. That's a young one over there. That's an older, older male. Like everybody's done, done eating. Take the feeder out. <clears throat> of course, I always get this little guy. But uh, she, she always comes right out here every time I open the door. <clears throat> Grab a little food and get her back in. Come on. Come on. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. And have a good day.